Welcome back to the channel guys. Today's video, we're gonna look at how to turn $1,000 into $100,000. Now this is without the Hopium, we're not looking at Ethereum to go to 100X, none of that sort of jargon, nonsense, BS. We are literally looking at the maths, the data, and the charts. So you have to be able to remove the emotion from whatever coins you're attached to. Don't get married to them. You might be offended with some of these, the whole idea is to make money. So that's what we're gonna look at in today's video. This is the hopium free theory. So the, what we're gonna do is look at the exact maths and time to go from $1,000 to $101,000. Essentially, we wanna get the 100X. If you go from 1,000 to 100, it's a 99X. So 101. Anyway, I'm gonna, not gonna keep going over those. We're gonna use round numbers, 100X here, 10X there, okay? We'll also look at why it's almost impossible to achieve this with the major cryptos at the moment. That's your uh, Cardanos, your Ethereums, Binance, Bitcoin, all those sort of things. This is almost impossible to do in this cycle. This is timeless information. So if you're watching this in the future, it's all the same data, it's all the same maths. It can be used in crypto, it can be used in stocks, it can be used in anything that you are looking to flip. So use this as a guide, save it in one of your watch lists if you want to come back to it at a future point. Now, if you like the sound of that, be sure to hit the like button down below. Let's smash this video to over 3000 likes and in time, hopefully we get it to 10,000. This is great information and you can really use it with any of the markets. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. We go through everything in cryptocurrency, investing and learning how to rotate those profits into other asset classes, including stocks and property. All right. Looking here, we got a couple of options in our hopium free theory. We can flip coins to 100x our return, or we can hold one or two coins for the 100x return. They both have their pros and their cons. Flipping these coins, the pros, better chances of getting to that 100x, the con, it takes a lot of time. It's going to take some of your time throughout the days, weeks, and months. The hodling, the hodling approach, buying one or two coins and just holding those, hoping they get to 100x. The pro is, takes less time after you've found that initial coin that you believe is going to do 100x. The con is that there is a lot less chance. You're throwing everything, all of your eggs into one or two baskets. So keep that in mind when we go through this today. Primarily, we're going to be looking at the flipping aspect. That's the main thing that we're looking at here, not the hodling, okay? This is not for the primitive mindset that hopes to win. If you are coming here from a particular coin that you absolutely love and you think it's going to do 100x because someone else on YouTube said it should, this might not be for you because this pushes you to think beyond that and look at the maths and the probabilities of how this can actually play out. So if you're in that mindset, try to get yourself out of it right now. Don't worry about the coins. Don't worry about the t-shirts. You want to make the money at the end of the day and you have goals in mind that you want to hit. Your goal is not to hold a coin forever because someone else on the internet said so. All right. I also have a real life example of doing this. Now, this is mainly with Ethereum and Bitcoin in my retirement fund, which you can follow on Instagram. I've been posting it throughout the 2021 bull market. So go over to my Instagram. Link is in the description. I posted in the IG stories on the daily at the moment with daily Q&As as well. All right, last thing is if you wanna learn more about this and how to do it in detail, learn about swing charting and the techniques used to get here, then I've got the Investor Accelerator Program. Link is in the description down below. Price is increasing soon for the people watching this uh, in early 2021 and the discount is for a limited time only before the price increases. So come over and join a couple of hundred of us already in that group. I will mention the group is not a trade alert place that you're going to get trade alerts, say what's the next best thing. This is where you go to learn. So it is a little bit different to a lot of the things that are out there in the crypto space. All right, let's move on to the main points of what we have and how we can use this moving forward. So what do we have? We said we wanna go from $1,000 to $100,000. Now, if you've got 2,000 or 5,000 or 10,000, it's essentially the same maths, but you're gonna alter things slightly. If you have 10 grand, you're probably not gonna put it all in one and just hope for the best. So we're gonna look at this with $1,000, but like I said, if you have $800, $1,200, you get the idea. Time, you wanna commit about an hour to two hours per day. Most of this is gonna come in the form of study if you are new to the space. 
the knowledge. Now I've got to assume a few things in a lot of this because there's going to be vastly different people out there watching it. You have different levels of knowledge, different amounts in your portfolio, different goals, different targets that you want to hit. There's a lot of variables. So just come at this in a general sense and do your best with the information. Knowledge, like I said, no emotional attachments. Do not get emotionally attached to what it is you're investing or what it is that you uh, don't want to be investing in. Understanding of flipping. So knowing that maybe if you own uh, whiteboard markers and you want to flip these from $1 to $2, $1 to $10, that's the idea about flipping. It's the same thing with the coins. We're not getting emotionally attached to it. I don't get emotionally attached to this. And I know I've said the emotional thing multiple times, but it tends to come uh, in the space of cryptocurrency a hell of a lot. Some trading experience or willing to learn about it, which is why I say you need about an hour to two hours per day outside of your day job or whatever it is you're doing. Experience with DEXs, decentralized exchanges. This is for the crypto people. If you're in stocks or penny stocks, obviously you don't need this. But if you're in crypto, then decentralized exchanges are going to be your best friend in order to get the cheaper cryptos. The variables, the variables, like I said, their skill levels. Keep educating yourself. I don't know what skill level you're at that uh, you're watching here uh, and your mindset. I don't know whether you are really fixated on certain things or you can freely move between different coins or that you have a, a mindset of abundance when it comes to money. There's a lot of things that go behind here apart from just the mass, but this is the mass and if you can apply it, get through the skill level and the mindset, it's, it's basically a set plan. Features of a plan. We need a buy point, so we need a confirmation of when to get in. And I'm going to show you an example in a minute, as you can see here with Cardano, a sell point, selling coin. When are we going to sell this thing? And I get ripped apart when I talk about selling, especially from the primitive mindset people who hold coins because they want to get married to them. Profit targets, stop loss, swings, fibs, 10x targets. So selling a coin, we've got a profit target in mind. What is that? Is that we're going to exit on a swing? Uh, we're going to exit at a Fibonacci level. Do we just have a, a 5x, a 10x, a 20x in mind and just sell no matter what? Trade management, what happens if, if the market isn't going the way we expect it to? When do we get out? What do we look at? These are, these are the sorts of questions that you've got to ask yourself and include into your plan because there is not one strategy or solution to all of it. I'm just going to talk about one example here and what has happened on Cardano and what we can look at moving forward as well. So. Let's look at our 10x example being Cardano ADA, the buy signal. I'm going to look at this on the chart as well. This is in retrospect. However, like I said, the new time, the real time stuff was on Ethereum and Bitcoin for my own personal retirement fund portfolio. So that is the same time frame. It's very similar signals that happened on Ethereum and a lot of cryptocurrencies at the, the bottom of the bear market in 2020 and into the middle of the year in 2020. So if you're only getting in now, don't worry, just look for these patterns in other markets. And the thing I talk about all the time is stick around for bear markets, stay for the bull, stay for the bear. You're going to get rich if you stay with a market, something that you're following throughout the bear market, because that's the easiest and safest time to be buying in, not when the prices are going nuts. So. Example, uh, buy signal at seven cents, swing breakout on momentum. I'm gonna show these quickly because I talk about them a lot and this is mainly about the maths. This is the signal right here. Entering on the break, we had the COVID crash, huge volume, everything was supposed to be over, the end of the world, and these prices should have went a whole lot lower. They didn't, and the sign, which I've talked about many, many times in other videos, especially in regards to Bitcoin and Ethereum, is the break of this swing, then a break of another swing top, the retest, of the swing top and away we go. So I've got a price here of around seven cents. That was an easy entry and that was around uh, the price that I continued to enter in with Ethereum. So in order to hopefully not get this video too long, probably about a 20 minute video at this stage, uh, I'm going to skim through this as well, but look at the mass in more detail. So seven cents and we've looked at the exit point at around 20 cents in previous videos, which you can look at on the channel. And uh, I talked about around $1.20 couple of reasons. Now, first reason is the market sentiment, news events, the sentiment was shifting, and there's already huge returns on Cardano, 1700% for uh, 
from the entry at around seven cents, which is a clear uh, entry signal. Now you don't have to exit the position here. You can continue to ride this thing all the way if you want, but we're gonna look at the mass in just a second. Like I say here, don't sell all, just enough to keep flipping. Now this is a, you know, granted this is a pretty great example and not all of them are gonna be like this. Like, you know, just keep that in mind with with throughout the video, but we're just looking at maths and numbers. I know I've said that many times. Uh, the numbers, how much oh, how much to sell? All right, initial capital. We said we put in $1,000, 10X. So we wanna get that 10X gain so we can flip it somewhere else. And then we're gonna, we can leave the remainder in Cardano because maybe Cardano goes extra far. You know, maybe it just shoots up another five or 10X, who knows? So looking at the numbers, the total at $1.20, because we got in at seven cents, we're getting out at seven uh, at $1.20, in at seven, out at $1.20, 17 grand. All right, rough numbers, keep it in mind. Initial capital, we take a thousand. 10X gainer, take the 10,000. So there's 11,000 we've pulled out of Cardano. Remainder is 6,000. So we still have 6,000 in Cardano. What's the potential for Cardano from here? So can our money be better suited elsewhere? Or are we better off just leaving the whole thing in Cardano to continue shooting up? 5X from here for Cardano, uh, reason being, ADA market cap, approximately 40 billion at this time. Ethereum, 200, 215 billion. So look, give or take about five times, 40 into 200, about five times. Therefore, this, uh, therefore ADA at five times is 200 billion. Now I'm using this because that's Ethereum's current market cap. I don't expect a th uh, Cardano to outpace Ethereum in this bull market. Like I don't expect it to catch up to Ethereum and go beyond it. That is going to come down to your own personal uh, research and belief in the market. But these are all what ifs that we have to put into play, that we have to make decisions on before the, the actual event happens. Maybe it does flip it, no one knows. But when it comes to uh, trading and flipping your money as fast as possible. These are some of the assumptions that we have to make when it comes to our, uh, our numbers and our maths and our trading to get to that point. This is just all theoretical. Therefore, ADA, five times, $200 billion market cap. Maybe ADA gets in, maybe it doesn't. ADA now $1.20. That's gonna give me a $6 ADA. So uh, we've got 17 grand already, 17 times five. That gets me to 85. Like 85 grand off a thousand, that's pretty decent. I think I would definitely be happy with that. Not sure if you would, maybe you definitely wanna see that 100 grand in your portfolio. But if you're happy with that, then maybe Cardano will get to six. But you have to be prepared. If it doesn't get to six, it only gets to four, then your current 17,000 multiplied by four is only 68,000. So take that for what you will, but there is a potential that it could go further you get the idea. Only a 4x return. So times five, it's only 4x return because we go 1x return gets you to $2.40. 2x return goes to 360. 3x return goes to 480. And a 4x return goes to $6. You times it by five, but it's a 4x return. All right, so our theoretical target is $6. Not worth holding as much ADA anymore. Gains have been had. We have had 1,700% gains already. Now let's pull those and find something else that we can rinse and repeat on. This is the point. We still, we're in a, such a beautiful position right now in this example, I get it. We have tons of money in Cardano still. We still have six grand in there. Maybe it does, it's um, times by five, all right? We get to 30 grand sitting in Cardano. We still have our 10 grand on, on, on the side plus our $1,000 of initial capital that we pulled out and we just keep that safe. In case everything goes to crap, we still have that $1,000 that we put in and we learned a hell of a lot along the way. So here comes time to rinse and repeat. Low caps are best, but now it's high risk. You know, we, we had Cardano in 2020, we had Ethereum, the bear market where no one wanted to buy in, everyone was looking at stocks and uh, still too scared to do anything because COVID was running rampant across the world, but they're the best times to get in. Examples we look at, good and bad. So this is on the channel. Uh, recently, I've looked at TVK, which I'll talk about in a bit. API3, which hasn't gone as well. These are some things that don't go to plan. Dogecoin definitely went to plan. November, great time to get in. Peaked in early February, great time to get out. Dot has done a 10X, 
CRO, I think still has a 10X potential in it. Engine, we've talked about this a few weeks ago when the, the Japanese news first came out and uh, it's shot up a hell of a lot since then. I think almost a 10X at this point since that news. However, can it do it again? Maybe, but it might need some rest time. So I'm just going through these knowing uh, what I know about the charts and the markets themselves. Injective protocol, I think it could still do pretty well. We've talked about it on the channel. It's not performing as well as some of the others. Pokestarter has done very well. Again, these are just examples that we're looking at. Some work, some don't. You just, that's, it is what it is. Um, Uni, Uni has done very well and just broke through some highs. Zen, something I've been holding for a long time, three, four dollars. It went to $90 and I only sold out some at around 60. So I still got 20X on that, but could have been a lot better. Uh, examples, we don't follow, but we but have worked. CEL, Celsius, uh, XVG, everyone talks about Voyager and VET. So you would probably see a lot of these on the market caps. Uh, Aave is another one. Uh, VET, can these do another 10X? It's getting more difficult, but they probably could do 10X from these $4 billion market caps. So keep that in mind but we've got to stick to a plan, otherwise it just won't happen. New potential, YFI, 1.4 billion, a couple of the others we're looking at, Engine Coin, 1.4 billion, sure, could probably still do a 10X, might need some time to rest. Celsius, 1.3, Voyager, 1.3, Ren, 1.3, all great projects that may still do a 10X from here. So let's keep looking at what we've got here. Lit, IOTA, uh, Graph, and Reef. Reef is a very low cap. So these are all in the billions, whereas Reef is very much a lot lower at the moment. So what do we do now? Next 10x to uh, throw our profits into TVK or Engine. We got the super high risk at the very low end of the market. Maybe we get a 20x out of it. Or we go something that's more established like Engine and we could possibly see it do a 10x from that point. So let's have a look what we do next. And we've got some numbers to look at how the numbers work. We've pulled out a thousand. Uh, we've got profits of 10,000, which we're going to use. 6,000 still in ADA. So we have the thousand back. Great. We haven't lost any money. Now we've got 6,000 still in ADA. Most of us don't think we're going to lose 100% in ADA. And if ADA goes up further, great. We still made some money. So it's all worth our time and we're learning. That's the bonus. And we're talking about how to learn and keep learning. Now we've got the profits to play with. So this is the part where it could go to zero. So all that 10,000 could go to zero, but at the end of the day, still got a lot of profits from that thousand. Now to flip the 10X, what do we do? Put it all in one coin and get an 11X, which is the 10 times, to get us to 100,000. Goal achieved. Or do we spread it, spread the risk across three to five coins, put around two to three and a half-ish grand per coin, get 10X on all three coins, 33K times three, about 100 grand. We had the thousand left over, great. Here's our 100 grand or uh, get 10x on two coins, lose on one. So then you've got to go through all the different numbers and how that's going to play out. Or do, you know, like we said, do we just keep it all in one? That's why there's plenty of variables. You are going to be different to the next person. Some people want to spread the risk, take a bit more time. Others want to just go all in on one coin and hope for the best. So I'm going to talk about time in just a moment as well, because I did say at the beginning of the video that we want to see the exact time on how long this will take. Now I'm just going to use historic data to get us to a point. If you found value so far, leave us a like down below. And we want to smash this thing to 3,000 likes. Hopefully in the future it's at 10,000 because this is some great numbers if I don't say so myself. Now before we go on to factors that most don't consider, let's just have a look at TVK, which is one that I've talked about here. So Terra Virtua Collect, you could be watching this in the future and just know the result that it turned to absolute crap or it went to 100x. We just don't know at this point in time. It is an NFT marketplace. NFTs are super hot right now. And this is a marketplace to be buying them from. So I think it has the potential to do that. Market cap's currently 63 million, so very, very low. Fully diluted is the question right here. So it's at 860 million. The whole idea is that we want to be in and out of these projects before a lot of the tokens are released because then this would just flood the market. If you had all of the tokens on the market, it would equal this market cap, which would flood it right now. We would not be getting uh, any sort of increase. But right now, about 78% of the TVK is being held by one account. I believe it's locked up with the team. So we've got to put trust in the team. This is cryptocurrency, it's the wild, wild west. That's what we do here. So potentially we could go from 60 million to a 600 million. We've seen a lot of these projects over the billion dollar market cap already. 
NFTs, we know are gonna be huge if they start listing a ton of NFTs. They are the premier NFT marketplace. Sure, let's get it to a billion dollars. We got our 60, uh, our 20X, but remember our target is 10X. And like we talk about in other videos, we have Fibonacci levels that we also like to exit on. So I'm not gonna go into those today. They're just some uh, reminders that we have exit targets on uh, Fib levels, 10X levels, or swings, all right? So right now, let's get back to the maths. Factors most don't consider. Time, ADA was at seven cents. Uh, that was in June 1st, plus it was seven cents uh, back here in around September. That was the second entry. Now you're not ever gonna know if you're gonna get back into ADA at seven cents, especially on such a quick spike down and it was back at nine to 10 cents. So this was your entry level here at around the seven-ish cents back in early June. And the exit was around the first week of March, last week of February, which gives us nine months. So this is how we're working out some of the time. Now this is from my experience in the previous bull markets in cryptocurrency as well. So sometimes these things change. However, during a bull market, we wanna rinse and repeat this as many times as possible because a bull market does not last forever and they speed up. They always speed up. We might have some long, slow sections and then they get faster and faster and faster. Now, as they get faster, the percentage returns tend to get a little smaller because there's just more and more money in the space. So the first time through is the nine months, which we just saw on Cardano from June to March, long period, but we got our over 10X return in this case. Now the next uh, re return, maybe another 10X, maybe it's 12X, we don't know could be shorter, it could be three months, could be four, could be five months, but that's from the entry point that we saw when it comes to our buy signal. So that's what I'm looking at there. Then maybe we have one more opportunity in the bull market to get another altcoin season and get that boom in price. So maybe we only have three rolls of the dice. This is stuff that many people don't consider because they just think a bull market is going to go on forever and it doesn't. That's what we have to consider. I think there's probably uh, three times total for the altcoins, maybe one more, maybe one less, but are generally about that those three opportunities we get. We've already seen one opportunity. We might be uh, winding up for a second opportunity and we may only have one more opportunity after that when the market gets really crazy. If we get a fourth, even better. We've got another opportunity to roll the dice, but right now we're one down, we've got two to go. Bull market, once the bull market's over, forget your 100 Xs. It's more than likely not happening now is so much easier because a lot of people in once a bull market's over forget about it wait for the next bull market understanding this timing feature and you'll realize there's limited time to 100x and hopefully you'll understand why it's almost impossible with ada eth bnb bdc in this cycle so you might be seeing cardano to 50 dollars, ethereum to 100 grand or 50 grand whatever it is in this cycle it's going to be the same thing for the next cycle and the next cycle and the next cycle, it's always gonna be the same nonsense blurted out by, uh, I don't know, people trying to hype other people on. But you can see that this happens time and time again. Uh, and I haven't really shown you that, but if we look at Ethereum going back into 2017, and this is just one example of many, we had several altcoin seasons, but there was only a couple that really lasted. And we had one from uh, early January, it pushed us through to June, bit of a sideways period, one big stretch more, and we really had about two major ones in that season. A second one was kind of on the cards. A lot of them didn't make it, but some did, and that was through 2018 into the middle of the year, uh, early to mid of the year, and that was about it. It really wasn't a huge altcoin season, but it was enough in some coins to get us that extra 10X. So timing is very big. Lastly, we're gonna look at bull markets, risk increases majors are overvalued. The major coins are overvalued. They have uh, to, uh, so you have to risk it with the small caps. Bear market risk decreases. You can buy all these big caps for a fraction of the price. Even if they're higher than where they are now, those returns uh, are looking much safer. And this, you, you've seen it in the previous market that they are strong coins. They're just suppressed during a bear market. So you can find much better deals. How to get ahead stay with the market. Like I said earlier, whether it's a bull market, a bear market, a sideways market, if you wanna make a, a success of investing, you have to stay with the market because normally what happens is you'll come back 
when the market is hot again, just like many of you maybe saw it in 2017 or 2018, and you left it for 2019, 2020, and now you're back again when the market is hot. Don't make the same mistake again. This is where you'll make a hell of a lot of money if you're in the bear markets. So that's the numbers on how to do 1,000 to 100,000. This is the big part. I did talk a lot about staying with the market, the mindset of it all, because at the end of the day, you see these numbers multiply very, very quickly in your account. It's not the maths that is going to stop you, it's the mindset. Hands down, the mindset will stop you if you're not ready for it. So test it out, practice it, get some money off the table so that you have the profits to play with to get to that 100x. Maybe you get to 20x or 50x, you're still doing fantastically well. So pat yourself on the back, go get yourself something nice and call it another day for this bear, uh, bull market until we get to the bear market. Real life examples, like I said, Ethereum, Bitcoin, this is my retirement fund, 26,000 in 2020. Current value is 242,000 and I post that on uh, uh, Instagram stories along with daily Q&A at the moment. So uh, this is your no hopium, just maths, data and charts look at how to go from 1,000 to $100,000. And it's not one of those videos where you're gonna say, hey, buy this one coin, it's gonna go up 100X. I think that is not doing you a service nor myself because it's much better, in my opinion, to look at it like this because this is the mass. It's potentially easier in a sense because you can continue to use this time and time again and flip the coins over rather than throw everything on a roulette table and hope for the best. If you want to learn more, the Investor Accelerator price is increasing soon. There's still a discount on the course at the moment. Link is down below the Investor Accelerator. Everything to do with swing charting through other asset classes, all the different asset classes, and we can swing chart our way to increase our returns. If you enjoyed that video, you found some value from it, leave me a like down below, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell notification icon, it goes a long way to helping the channel out in the YouTube algorithm. That's everything for this video, guys. If you wanna know more, like I said, Instagram and the course down below, I'll see you guys at the next video, stick around for that. But until then, have more fun to get more done.